Welcome back to El Cara Ham Radio's Hamvention 2022 coverage. And now we drop by the Shack in the Box booth. There's a wonderful story behind this company, and we ask Grace to tell us a little bit about it, plus some of the offerings that they brought to Hamvention. That's what's coming up next on El Cara Ham Radio. Hello, this is Chris, KY4CKP. Uh, we're still up here in uh, Hamvention 2022. We're here at the uh, Shack in a Box booth, and we wanted to stop by and talk to these folks, see what they brought up here this year. And so we've got Grace with us today. Uh, Grace, tell us a little bit about your uh, the history of, of you folks and then what you all brought to Hamvention this year. Yeah, so we kind of have a unique history, I guess. My brother was interested in engineering for a really long time since he was really little. And my dad was into ham radio. And he decided to introduce my brother and get him licensed. And he enjoyed it. And then my old, the oldest sister, she was like, well, can I join? And we, one by one, all four kids were like, I want to join, I want to join. So we enjoyed him ready. We started doing a lot of outdoor operations. And the outdoor operations kind of increased during the 2016 Parks on the Air year. And we realized that we were kind of getting sand in our radio and forgetting antennas because they were all one was in our garage, one was in our shack, they were everywhere. So we realized, let's just put them in one simple spot, and we put our radio into a box. Now our first one was a little bulky. We were like 7, 15 at the most. So it wasn't too good as a first box, but it was pretty good for kids. So eventually, a couple years later, someone decided to try and buy it from us. And after a little bit of him pushing us, we decided we will build a new one and go ahead and sell our old one. So we improved upon that, and that happened a couple times. Until eventually, we decided, since so many people are trying to buy our shack, let's go ahead and just create a business and give them their own shack. So we've done a lot of improvements since then. Our first model was pretty heavy and bulky. We had a lot of stuff we didn't need in it. But since then, we've spent months of figuring out the best parts, best tools, and the way to make it the lightest and most efficient. So nowadays, we have all our different boxes at this ham fest. This one is one of our largest boxes. It has HF and UHF capabilities. We have an ICOM and Yesu version. And we also have what we call solar generators which can plug into a solar panel or the wall and charge your radios. Um, these are good for field day operations and actually with fairly good sun, um, we can run as field day for over 48 hours, which is great. That's great. Um, it has our charge controller on, on top and light on the side. Just some simple things that are really good for outdoor operations. It is also um, fairly watertight if you close it up, if it starts raining. And if you look over here, we have another box. This one is only UHF, and it is mainly great for after a hurricane in a shelter, because it has a battery built inside of it. So if your power goes out, and it won't cut off your radio, because it will immediately switch to the battery on the inside. So our dad oftentimes uses that um, in shelters or in hurricanes just to help with the relief. Um, our last box would be over here. This one has only, here's our little um, solar generator too. It's a little version of the bigger one. It's 30 amp power. Um, anyway, this is our last radio box. It has only HF capabilities. And this one we typically, sometimes we use it as our home shack actually, because it keeps it nice and neat inside. Whereas our old one had wires everywhere. This one we just plug in. If we want to go somewhere with it, we immediately just unplug it and take it to our car. This one we typically use as our outdoor operations because it's just lightest of them all and we just like using HF in our park in the national parks. So that one is for us at least the very best one for outdoor operations. All right, well, it sounds really good. So you've got Yesu products, you've got Icon products, uh, different sizes and shapes. What The uh, small solar one is 30 amp hours. What's the big one? The big one is 60. 60 amp hours. LiPo 4? Or... Um, yeah, these are LiPo batteries. We get them from BioNO Power. And 
kind of cool thing about this is that they are physically impossible to burn and they're actually been working on getting them allowed to carry on to planes. So eventually we're hoping to be able to take these to a remote island from a plane and be able to operate with all of your setup. Do some remote DX. All right. Well, you you really I, I've I've watched your channel for several years and I, I remember the first box build and uh, these right. look really great. The boxes and everything themselves look really great and the uh, the neatness and engineering that you all have put into these looks really really great. So check out the Shack in a Box folks. Shackinabox.com. Uh, check out their 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 stuff. If you like doing Poda Soda, if you like doing remote DX, um, nice heavy duty cases. Keep your equipment organized and neat. Great go boxes. Uh, Grace, thanks for uh, having, taking the time to see us. Yeah, thanks for having me. And they're still doing 73. 73.